Welcome back folks, you're watching the Ahistorical Gamer, moving into the second campaign of the Americans in the Pacific. Let's see what's uh, about to come, yeah, yeah. The Japanese offensive has caught uh, Allied forces totally unprepared, yeah, you're damn right it did. A day of infamy, while the US government was still in conversation with the Japanese government, Towards the maintenance of peace in the Pacific, reports from the US Navy base at Pearl Harbor reveal a sudden and deliberate attack by the Japanese Navy and Air Forces against our nation. Uh, it's debatable how real the peace conversations really were by that point. Uh, we really weren't negotiating uh, on terms that might have prevented the war. Uh, and also, one of the reasons that the Japanese naval strike force towards Pearl Harbor was never detected is because the United States had already recalled all civilian traffic and basically issued a travel warning, said, no, no, don't travel in the Pacific Ocean. So, yeah. It, it didn't take uh, the politicians by that much surprise, but it certainly caught the army. <laughs> No one told them, even though we did have uh, the decrypts of the Japanese diplomatic uh, messages. Uh, yeah, no one, no one told the army or the navy. Although they also failed on several points, which I'll talk about here. Ooh, Australian commandos has been evacuated from Borneo. Well, that's outstanding now, isn't it? Import a core. I think I will. Get my Marines. And welcome to Pearl Harbor. Sunny, scenic, and under attack from the Japanese Empire! We are under attack. This is not a drill. Japanese fighters and bombers are coming in from all directions, targeting our ships and naval infrastructure. Radar stations report more enemy aircraft closing in fast. The initial Japanese attack was mistaken for friendly bombers and has caught us completely off by surprise. Our forces across the island are in disarray and totally unprepared, make contact with other defenders and try to organise an effective resistance against the Japanese raiders. You know, it was actually even worse than this. There is a midget submarine that's, uh, well, that was engaged in the Pearl Harbor Channel trying to sneak in. And it was detected and engaged and uh, believed sunk before the battle even started. And, uh, yeah. Pearl Harbor Naval Command was notified of that. However, basically because there was no such thing as a priority signal, uh, basically requests for things like, oh, coffee, and this ship needs water and supplies. Uh, we're given the same priority as urgent, we are engaging the enemy, they are attacking. <laughs> and so, yeah, the, the, you know, so many opportunities to prevent the disaster uh, were missed, essentially. Actually, we got some. Can I upgrade this to something with a little... Can only be upgraded, upgraded when in port. What is this thing? Plus two to surface vessels. <laughs> well, might as well. Uh, so... Any air guns have been manned and are scouring the skies for enemy aircraft. Outstanding. Move it to position. Okay, so the torpedo bombers have launched, I think. That means the bombers are our priority target. So 
probably have to sacrifice the anything in the north of the harbour. A few brave and lucky pilots have managed to man their aircraft and get them airborne. Outstanding. long way to get stuff over here. Mm. Well, time to move in the other direction. Here are our planes. Bomber, bomber, bomber. Well, I can't really fire just yet. Basically my plan is to hold over the bay itself. Shoot down five enemy aircraft. Oh, get those AA guns up and activated. Eight, eight, five. That's a lot of planes. Mistaken identity. The first wave of Japanese aircraft was mistaken for B-17 bombers scheduled to arrive from the USA. Now the actual B-17s have returned and while these bombers cannot engage the enemy directly, they do provide a useful pair of eyes in the sky. Yeah. Unfortunately, historically, the B-17s were engaged because, uh, literally, we were just shooting at everything. Okay, aircraft are up. Oh, decisions, decisions. How do I want to proceed here? I could just try and get everything airborne. I might kind of do that. Focus seems to be on one over here, so...
Uh, hostile waves. Our coastal radar stations have picked up signals of a new Japanese attack wave approaching the island from the northeast. Okay. We've got zeros over there. Should be able to take station very soon. Come on guys, we gotta defend Pearl Harbor. of ideas. See them. <sighs> mm, that's the zero. I should have gone for the bomber. No, the torpedo bomber, that bomber's dropped its bombs. just lose experience which was a very important thing but it's not going to help us that much this mission historically the Japanese naval aviators were actually the best trained out of all of them US pilots actually had more flight hours but they trained in bombers, uh, fighters, and torpedo bombers, which meant they had less experience in each individual craft.
clawing back. A wing of F-4 Wildcat fighters has arrived from the USS Enterprise. Well, that's good. <laughs> we, we could sure use the help. It's a zero. Took a casualty, that's that's ugh. Scratch one bander. Despite the surprise attack and the ensuing chaos, our pilots and ground crews have managed to shoot down a significant number of enemy aircraft. This loss of experienced pilots may hurt the Japanese combat efficiency in the long run. Another bomber there. here because I know that midget sub is lurking around somewhere They came back in future battles. I, mean, I don't know about you know making them part of core forces or, or just as an event, but that would be pretty cool. Abandoned ship drawing the attention of most enemy aircraft. Our battleships are taking heavy damage. Several ships are already burning and sinking after continuous barrage of bombs and torpedoes, yeah. Well, we weren't exactly at action stations. Submarine, we didn't see anything. Let's push out a bit. Wildcats have a lot of fuel capacity. Flying fortresses didn't see anything either, okay. Probably launch their second wave soon. If I haven't already. Probably the biggest failing of the military during the raid, apart from 
you know, failure to pass on uh, warnings from their picket ships in the channel was the, the failure to properly integrate their radar defense. Uh, a few to which we owe so much. up which ship it was that fought the Japanese midget in the harbour entrance. I think it was getting tangled in the anti-submarine net. Oh, look at that. So yeah, that's the response we needed. it along that dirt road. Now I could try and catch them as they move past. I think I'll just move to here. A new naval commander can be attached to one of our units. That's Clark. Oh, well, I like Clark. Make the cut of his jib.
think that's basically it. I mean, I'll never make it to Punalau, but let's just sort of cut cross country and see what we can pick up. One idiot who's gonna try his luck. ships are heading out to sea. And yet so far. the worst they can land on the roads. Yeah, I know. After two hours of relentless aggression, the sky has finally cleared of Japanese aircraft. The attack on Pearl Harbor is over, but the war has only just begun. Yep. And all they have done is to awaken a sleeping giant and fill him with a terrible resolve. Possibly an uh, apocryphal quote by uh, Japanese Admiral Yamashita. No, Yamamoto, sorry. Mixing, <laughs> mixing my generals there. Yamashita was in uh, Malaya. Yamamoto, 